right here, USA Championship Wrestling, former USA Heavyweight Champion Cassidy Riley taking on Jason James in this next contest. I'm Scott Barry here with Paul Adams. Yep, Jason James needs to utilize his big old brain in this one against Cassidy Riley. But I'll tell you what, can you believe what we just saw? Brandon West coming in here. You know, I, I understand that he's upset. His wonderful artwork from his youth was all ruined there, and, and his grandmother's been insulted. But he has no business coming to the ring. You know, he should have just found him at another time, maybe talked about it first. You know, can't, like, Jason James is a great proponent of talking things out before you try and, you know, get in there and try and fight. He likes to talk things out. But I'll tell you what, I cannot believe Brandon West coming and sticking his nose in there, getting Lonnie Kealoa DQ'd, and then biting the eye of Brian Turner. I mean, that's that's every woman's fantasy right there, and he's trying to rearrange his facial expressions. That's his moneymaker. Talk about his moneymaker. He has every right to do whatever he wants to, as far as I'm concerned. He, Turner assaulted his grandmother. He has every right to do whatever he wants to. Well, she she took over his own time. In the ring, we got Jason James and Cassidy. That's Riley. a felony in some states, Cassidy, including Kentucky, I believe. Going for that second rope moonsault. Jason James able to get the legs up. Hang, hang on, hang on. I'm getting something in my earpiece. We've got something going on outside. Can we get a camera out there? We need to get a camera outside. Let's let's see what we've got going on out there. Is that that's that's Brandon West? He's <laughs> he's got a baseball bat. He's man, he's looking for business now. I can't believe what I just saw, Brandon, as if. Jumping Brian Turner wasn't enough. He's he's definitely hot. He's definitely mad. He's coming up. He's armed and dangerous now. Personally, I can't wait to see what he does. The man is brandishing a weapon. Now, you talk about a person that's out of control out here. First coming in and biting a guy. Now, now he's storming around out back in a big huff with a baseball. Scott, you can't. You Even you. Even you cannot possibly come condone off, that. Paul, come off. What would you do if it was your grandmother? What would you do? You're saying you would just sit there and take it? you just walk on to the next thing? I you wouldn't do anything at all? I would have glued the drawing back together. That's what I would have done. That's the, that's the logical thing to do. Did you see the condition that that drawing was in? There's no glue that's going to fix that. What about the memories that are tied to that drawing? What glue is going to fix the memories that are tied to that drawing? You'd be surprised what you can do with a roll of duct tape. But I'll tell you what, I certainly wouldn't be storming around out back with a baseball bat. you got to be kidding me. Let's get back to the ring action here is Jason James looks like he's trying to score a, a, a huge upset victory here over Cassidy Riley Cassidy trying to reach for the ropes as James has that leg lock cinched in that half Boston crab are you aware he was the captain of his uh, high school chess team uh, not it, Cassidy Riley it, it wouldn't surprise me if he was would you look at those suspenders on there it looks like he's trying out for the next family matters what's wrong with suspenders I think he looks cool oh yeah I'm sorry excuse me I'm speaking to captain suspender over here Cassidy looks like he's definitely suffered from that half Boston crab. And Jason James wasting no time going to work on Cassidy Riley. He knows when he's got his man beat. Cassidy needs to fight back. He needs to fight that find that energy within that that second win, so that Jason so he can score the victory over Jason, not get embarrassed by by getting pinned to the mat. One, two, three, by by that. I'll tell you what needs to happen is somebody needs to call the cops and get in here and, and go after this Brandon West or Burt Prentice or somebody. You might have to go out there yourself and try and calm this guy down because obviously, I mean, something's not going to try and calm him down. Yeah. Anything that, that he dishes out on Brian, as far as I'm concerned, Brian deserves. He's storming around. out Who does he think he is? Shaquille O'Neal? He's going to want to try and become county sheriff now, too? You see, over the weekend there, tracking guys down, following guys, arresting them for assault. That's what he thinks he is. He thinks he's... Uh, going to be sitting around walking tall around here with a baseball bat. Big power move here by Cassidy Riley. Trying to find that second win and Jason James looks hurt and he is down. Trying to fight his way back up. Cassidy trying to get to the ropes to crawl his way back up. Both of these men suffering some huge downfalls at the other's hands. Submission holds and now Cassidy just laying a beat down on Jason James. He's sick and tired of it. He knows that he can't lose to this, this, this kid. This computer geek, this whatever he is. He's a prodigy, that's what he is. And if, I'm telling you, if this Jason James, he could easily outsmart Cassidy Riley. I'll tell you that much. Cassidy hitting that, like you said, the former U.S. champion, hitting that back spring elbow. And Bulldog sending Jason James down to the mat hard. Cassidy going for the cover, only a two count. And I hate to see that, you know, ramming him head first into the top turnbuckle and then bulldogging him down head first to the mat. You know, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And in Jason James' case, I mean, the big brain on him, man. I wonder if he's got a computer screen name. It's got to be something like wannabe wrestler at AOL.com. Well, you know my screen. Well, I ain't going to tell you my screen. I don't want you emailing me. I'd get a bunch of spam from you. 
huge five-star frog splash there from Cassidy Riley, and that's gonna be the end of Jason James. He tried his best, but there's no way that you can compare to the hot shot, Cassidy Riley. Here you can see his fan base throwing the diapers into the ring, calling him crybaby one more time. People Folks, are sick. You know that? People are sick. Personally, I find it hilarious. We've got more. Don't change the channel. We'll be right back.